Hey guys, here's a little VR editor that I'm working on for fun. It's inspired by Emacs and um, it's surprisingly usable. I mean, it's easy to read. It's, it's not a texture. I created the actual shapes here. Let me show you how it works more or less. Um, let me create a function to create a cube. Function create cube x y z color size. And I integrated it with Copilot because I'm not typing all that. It's a bit of a hack, but it works. Let me just change a few things. Um, I like standard. Um, I wanted to cast shadows. Interactive because I want to be able to, to grab it. And instead of returning it, let's just add the scene. Scene, add cube. Okay. So let's const cube equals cube minus zero. Red. 0.3, let's see if this works. Yeah, there it is. If I come here, I can grab it, I can play with it. Okay, let me try animating it. Let me create a new tab here. Cube dot eight equals there. Hmm. Why is that not working? So not wrong. Why? It should work. Oh, I'm a moron. Let me create a new one. Fine. Now. Oh, there it is. Get out of the way, you. Okay. Let's create a physical cube now. Let me see. Add body. Let's see if this works. Let me change the color here. Yeah, it worked. Let's see. I can grab it. I can throw it over there. I can go there. I can grab it again. Why is it updating? Oh, I changed the reference. It's fine. Okay, I'm not walking all the, all the way over there. Let me just... Um... Ta da teleport. Okay, let me try something new. Let me add one of the presets I've created. New button. Button dot position dot set. Could be two one zero. Scene dot add add button. Where's my button? Yeah, there it is. It's just a button. I can press it. Uh, now let's um, change the what it does. Button dot on press equals Let me see if it works. Actually, let me change to the terminal. Control one will do it. Yeah. Beep, beep, 
beep. Yeah, it does. Okay, let's see if I can create um, cubes with it. Create cube. Um, let's see, zero, five, zero, blue, zero point three. Let me see if I, yeah. Nice. Okay, too many objects now. Let me just remove everything. Scene dot, actually, for the child of scene dot children, scene dot remove child will this work fuck yep i deleted all of it jesus fucking christ i recreated a few objects so i can continue um <clears throat> actually i forgot to show you it also works with my wacom tablet so if i want to think by you know writing things let me see yeah something It's not perfect, but you know, if you want to think about a vector or how things work, do a bit of math, it's fine. Anyway, um, so I have all my objects here and what I want is to delete all the objects that I created, not everything and not the button. <clears throat> so let's see, button dot unpressed. Is it unpressed or unpressed? I think it's unpressed equals this um what am i doing oh let me just see if i can delete things first mm, no but not press equals for let child of scene dot children if child bot is interactive, interactive and child is not the button, scene dot remove child. God, if this crashes again, I'm gonna have a fit. Not to sound like Britney Spears, but you better work, bitch. Mm. Ah, it works. Nice. Okay. Okay, have a cube here. Actually, let me bring it here. So let me show you a different press preset. I can just create a slider preset on Blender. and export it as a GLB. And then the code is really simple. Okay, so now I can just create the slider. Slider dot position, position is uh, one zero seeing the add slider okay there it is i can grab it i can move the little knob here now let's use it for something let me just slider on change equals value um let's say change the, the scale of the cube cube dot scale dot x equals value times i don't know two let's see if it's complete yep let's see if it works yeah see let me grab this
Okay, let me delete these things except the button. Huh, this slider is not interactive, I guess. Never mind. Um, let me try one last thing. Let me create an array of cubes like cubes equals this for x equals zero, x smaller than 10, x plus plus. No, don't do that. Do cubes um, x z equals create cube at position x times zero point three one z times zero point three. It can be red and zero point three. Would this work? Let's see. Z. Actually, scene dot add this. Yeah, should work. Right. Yeah, just delete all of them by mistake. Hold on. There you are. What's happening? Stupid thing, get out of the way. Okay, there they are. Now, let me create a function so I can set their heights, like function set cube height, x, y, and height. Um, X actually Z, isn't it? Z um, cube. Let's reset the whole rotation. Rotation dot set zero zero zero. Let me move over there. This thing is in the way. Let me set the position correctly. Cube position dot set um, x times zero point three. Height will be height times zero point five because I want it touching the ground and z times zero point three. Okay. Cube dot scale dot y equals height cube and let's change the material so that the cube's height is the color matches the height like cube dot material dot uh, color equals new three dot color color um one height zero let's say it's z it's red when it's very low and yellow when it's very high and cube dot material dot needs update. Let's see if it completes. Yeah. Set cube. Let's see. Uh, I thought it would touch the ground. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Suppose I set the height to. Um, I know what's going on. It's because the cube I'm using the size here, not there. Let me just make a change here. One, 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 and then cube dot position. No, scale dot set size size size. Yeah, that's fine. And then I will delete these cubes here. Oh crap. Where, where's the button? There, deleted the cubes. Let me create them again, like this. And let's try this again. Yes. Now I can set the height of each, each cube. If I set it to 0 0.5, it does this. If it's 
zero. Can I do zero? Yeah, not great. Yeah, good. So for let x actually, I'm not going to write this again. Let me delete this. Set cube height of x z to x plus z. That will be twenty, I think. Yeah, um, at most divided by twenty. Ooh, nice. Anyway, that's it. It's uh, it's very alpha right now, so it's full of broken things, but it is open source. So if you want to help, go to the project page. It's on the description and, you know, open an issue or whatever. I'll play myself out. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's going to be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn ain't that great 